Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to have a look at Creative Commons and um, I'm going to look at basically what it is, why we need to use it when we look at um, resources on the web that we grab and make use of in creative projects of our own um, and I'm also going to show you how you can actually do that using the Creative Commons search engine. So. Basically, the first part of this presentation, I want to have a quick look at the website, creativecommons.org. Okay, so you can find this. Um, it's just creativecommons.org. You don't need a www. And you just go here. And um, it's it's very easy to read. It's, it's quite um, easy to get around this site. And basically, I want to have a look at one particular area, which is the licenses area. To, to kids, and why we need to be aware of it if we are kids working on this, is that um, Creative Commons is a huge repository of work, okay, including things like images, uh, videos, songs, um, you know, websites that various people have created at any given time and the point is that they've made that information available to other people to use when it comes to um, creating things of their own. Okay, so an example that I'm going to look at is when I take uh, some images and I want to use those images in a video, in an iMovie. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But just having a look here at the licenses, I'm scrolling down to just having a look at these licenses here and I'm just going to show you some of the licenses. You can see here, this is the most simple license and I usually show this to kids because um, it's, it's an easy one to get your head around. It's just a simple attribution license and there's a logo there that indicates that this license applies when you're looking at, at that particular work. And basically this license lets others distribute, remix, tweak and build upon your work even commercially as long as they credit you for the original creation. This is the most accommodating of licenses offered, recommended for maximum dissemination and use of licensed materials. So basically um, the attribution license is really the simplest and it's what I'm going to be focused on when we look at the search engine um, today. It's good to be aware of other licenses. You can see here, um, this is a good one here, the attribution no derivatives and it, it's basically the same as an attribution license. Um, the one catch there, this no derivatives part, means that you can't um, you can't create a derivative of it. In other words, you can use it whole um, and you can use it unchanged, but you can't, I guess what we'd say, remix or re-edit that particular work. Um, so that's a, a, another good one to be aware of. Um, just moving over here, you can see this is a non-commercial license so very simple attribution non-commercial and that means you can do all the things that you you can with an attribution license and you can remix it you can change it edit it um, the the one catch here is that you can't make money from it um, this works well for us in education because we don't need to necessarily make money from it but it's good to teach kids that if they were to go and try to sell their movie to um, let's say some movie maker or movie producer and use that as part of an ad um, they wouldn't be allowed to do that if they were using work that had only been licensed this way okay so it's just good to be aware of that um, you'll see that essentially all the other licenses are pretty much just combinations of those things um, this this one here is a great one this is the share alike um, component where basically um, how you produce it um, is, is generally how other people share it. Okay, so this license lets you lets others remix to where you can build upon your own work non-commercially as long as they credit you and license their new creations under the identical terms. So basically if you've said non-commercial and they use your work and they produce something, they also have to specify that as non-commercial, um, which is a, a great license. Um, anyway, basically once you've got your head around these licenses, you are familiar with the concepts of needing to um, basically uh, attribute the work, um, being aware whether or not you can make money from it, um, whether or not you're able to edit it, change it, um, and how you have to license your work. Um, basically from here, what I want to do is I want to go to another part of this website, 
um, which is a really good one. And I send kids here straight away whenever we're lo looking for things like pictures. Um, and it's, it's a really simple one to remember. Again, there's no www here. It's just search.creativecommons.org. Okay? And um, this is a, just a brilliant search engine to use because if you search with this search engine, you can specify um, uh, criteria for your search, but essentially anything that this search engine finds, you can use. Y you have um, permission from the, the authors of those works to be able to use them uh, in your own work. So in my example, I'm going to look at getting pictures from this uh, search engine and putting them into an iMovie. Now, um, if you want to, you can tick these boxes. If you know that you wanted to use this commercially, you, you tick the commercial box. Um, if you want to modify, adapt, and build upon, uh, you could tick that box. Now, um, this box doesn't really matter. I can untick that because if I know that I'm not going to make money from it, that's fine. Critical thing here is that box has to be ticked um, if I'm using that picture in an iMovie because I actually am modifying the picture by putting it into a movie. I'm adapting and I'm building upon it. So that box really has to be ticked and it's, it's really good to talk about the, you know, with the kids why that has to be ticked. Um, now, basically all I have to do here is just type in you know, a, a term. I'm going to go as text and I'm just going to hit go. And um, basically here, now I've got this whole set of tabs um, that will show me content related to that search string from these different sources. Okay, so if I go to Google Images now, um, what comes up is uh, a whole bunch of images, of course. Some of them obviously related to my topic, some of them kind of not. Okay, now this is a great one here because uh, that's a great picture. I could use that, okay, um, but I do have to attribute. Okay, and this is the most important thing. I've got to find out who actually made this picture. So if I if I give it a click, um, I'm, it's going to open up. Okay, now I know at this point that um, this is from Flickr. Okay, so even though it came up in Google Images, it's actually from Flickr. Um, at this point, I don't know who's created this picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on website for this image, and here I am, and this is great. Okay, because now at this point, I can actually identify the author over here. And it's by Jungle Boy, all right? So jungle uh, underscore boy. Um, believe it or not, this is the author that I need to attribute to. Um, he obviously has a real name, and I don't know what that is. Um, but you know what? I don't actually need to know it. As long as I attribute this work here to the Flickr user Jungle Boy, um, I'm doing my job when it comes to Creative Commons. Okay. Um, so this is this is really good to know at this point. I've got permission to use this picture. I can put it in an iMovie if I want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab this picture and um, I'll just uh, save it now. It's got different sizes and because um, I want it to put it in a uh, movie, I need to go to the original size, which is nice and big. Here it is. At this point, I'm going to save this image. And what I generally do, just to, to make it easier for me later on, is I'll save the image and I'll call it, you know, as text. You can call it anything you want, really, as text. Um, one. And then I'm actually going to put by jungle underscore boy dot jpg. Okay, so save that. And um, that's, that's really handy because at this point I've got a copy of the picture here. And um, there it is. And I've also put into the actual file name the author of it. So at this point, um, I can um, can attribute that work. I might actually want to add to that. I'm just thinking I'll put in brackets Flickr because it's a Flickr username there. And now I know in no uncertain terms who this works by. Um, I know that I've got permission to use it because I found it through the Creative Commons search engine. Um, I can see here, actually, if I go a bit closer, I can actually see these little logos. You can see here that I've got attribution there. This one's non-commercial. And 
this one is share alike. So Jungle Boy actually has chosen those um, those components of the license to apply to this. So I actually know now I can't make money from this. That's cool. I don't need to make money. I just want to kind of give this iMovie to the world when I've done it. But um, the critical thing is that I've, I've I've taken time to know that that's the case, and um, now I'm I'm covering my bases. I am. Um, doing the right thing by copyright and I'm certainly doing the right thing by Jungle Boy by attributing his work. So at this point um, I'm going to leave the tutorial there. Hopefully you've seen a few good things about Creative Commons and you've got some good ideas about how you can make use of it in your next creative work. Thank you for watching this tutorial.